As I said in the last video, my friend Stu was kind enough to make me up a new light source for the bottom of the microscope. Now, what he's done here is he's used an iris, I think it's from a camcorder, I think that's what he said, to make it so that I can reduce the amount of light that's coming into the microscope objective. Um, there's a lens underneath here and a rubber bung which is holding the lens in place. And then in the bottom of the unit, there is basically a LED torch that's been taken apart and, and repurposed with a USB cable that comes out the side of it that can be attached to either a USB power pack or into a computer as well. Um, so it's very useful and with this I can actually um, I can have top down lighting and lighting from the bottom at the same time. I don't know how well that'll work so I'm interested to find that out at some point in the not too distant future. But first things first what I need to do with this is kind of diffuse the light a little bit more because LEDs are basically made up of lots and lots of little rows of lights, lots of little rows of lights. Um, and each one of these individual light sources shines slightly differently on the subject underneath the microscope. And what that means is you get an, an odd effect, sort of a stereoscopic effect, um, which you don't really want to have at a very low level because it means that you can't see as much detail. So what we need to do is make it so it's a little bit more clear by diffusing the light. Now, there's various different ways you can do this, but what I've done is I've taken from this old halogen unit uh, the diffusion panel on top and this diffusion panel has sort of a matte blue finish to it and that's what makes it a lot more even um, and I can't claim to understand exactly how it works but it is, it, it's basically a diffuser um, just like you'd have on a camera flash to make it less harsh I suppose. Um, and then there's a lens on top of it to I presumably refocus or, or brighten it up again. So I put this first of all on the top of the unit. It was better, but there was still quite a lot of sort of stereoscopic effect. There was still multiple light sources in a way. So then I moved it up a little bit below the slide and I got to a point at which I was quite happy with the definition and the lines that were being shown. Um, and so what I'm going to try and do now is trying to fix it at that particular point underneath the microscope stage and then hopefully we'll get even better pictures out of this than we did beforehand. So I'm going to cut away for a minute and when I come back I'll show you the result of that. So in the end here is what I've come up with. Um, I used this copper from an old uh, adapter from an old um, multi-plug adapter for mains just to fashion this little bracket so that I could switch it in there and that screws into one of the little screw holes on the bottom of the stage and that's just about the right height um, and what you'll be able to see hopefully is that the image is quite clear whereas without it if I just take that out of the way swivel it round that's the image without with various little artifacts and multiple images etc etc so it still looks quite nice and it's quite a bright image but if we add in the diffuser and put it in the right position it cleans it up quite a lot so I'm really interested to see how this works with the uh, little microorganisms and if we can see them much better with this new setup so that's what I'm going to do next and I'll put that in a future video